Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Combo Couch. It's me, Fiorella, and um, we're gonna have our regular show in a minute. I just wanted to come on and do a specific video explaining what I know, as far as what I know that happened uh, with the Twitter suspension. Now, just to preface everything, we are going to Honduras. We just covered Nicaragua, and we are right now in Peru, and um, we are trying to pretty much cover as many elections as possible. Chile was happening as well. Venezuela elections just happened um, this past week. So we've been in contact with a lot of the election observers and a lot of the journalists that uh, we were with in Nicaragua and we decided to come um, and we decided to go and cover Honduras because it's an extremely important election with the wife of um, Manuel Zelaya who was removed via coup in 2009 and that was during Obama's presidency and his wife is now running for the presidency in a very tumultuous country. We have been getting word of many journalists and many election observers being held up in immigration or turned back. So that is one of the uh, things we're anticipating. We're trying to figure out um, how that's going to work. So, you know, I tweeted out our fundraiser, which is extremely important, and I think it should be more than ever uh, specifically, because when Twitter suspends an account like mine, it suspends a lot of our work that we do here. It's not just like about me. It's about, you know, the combo couch and the team as a whole. And so I don't, can you show the fundraiser? Um, we're, I'll just put it out right now so I don't forget. And we're going to be obviously talking more about it, but you guys can see that we're trying to raise more money for Nicaragua. The flights are going to be a toll as well as the potential, the test that we're going to have to take once we leave, uh, leave Honduras, not Nicaragua, Honduras. Um, and we're, you know, also going to be losing out on live streaming uh, like we normally do on our shows because we'll be on the ground and the internet situation is not necessarily where it should be. So uh, one thing I do ask is that all of you share the stream. Again, my account was taken down, so I can't really share it with the same amount of people that I had before. Um, so if you can share the YouTube link and of course the Rockfin link as well. And um, you know, it, it's crazy that that this happened right before um we're headed to Honduras. now i do want to also say that i did share a tweet of what's happening in australia but that was one of the australian officials noting what they were doing so it was like a government official video that i shared and that is all i have done i haven't said anything remotely controversial recently there are accounts that are far more controversial than mine uh, that are still up. I mean, I think, I don't know. I mean, I guess, I, I don't know. But um, that's up for subjective determination. But um, yeah, I, I just don't understand exactly why. So when uh, this morning it was in, I was, my phone was blowing up and all of a sudden, you know, I look up and I'm like, oh my gosh, like my account is suspended. And so I'm thinking that I log into Twitter, they should tell me, they didn't tell me anything. It doesn't say any reason. It doesn't say your account has been restricted. It doesn't say you made a tweet that was, you know, didn't follow our Twitter rules, et cetera. And I have all, I mean, I have never been suspended or limited or any of that on Twitter. Um, I've never had, I, you know, I've had like, a, maybe one tweet has been taken down, maybe. But I don't even think that, to be honest, in the whole time I've been on Twitter, active on Twitter, because I had Twitter for the longest time and I wasn't, I didn't use it. Um, and then Nico was like, you need to use Twitter. And, and like, I was like, okay, um, that, that's a true story. Nico was like, you need to, to go on Twitter. Um, so it, it's, it's interesting. So I went on and I checked my email and my email didn't give me anything. All it said was that uh, I'm no longer eligible for ads, which I've never, ever used on my profile Twitter ads. I don't think the combo couch has ever used ads either. So it was just telling me that I'm not allowed to use ads because my account's suspended, but it never really said um, why I was suspended at all. And I have appealed to them and they've answered to me saying to confirm the email that this is you, uh, write us a message. So that's what I'm doing. I'm going through the appeal process. It might take a few days. They say they're backed up uh, as a preface. So I don't know if my account will come back or not. It is my first suspension, so I'm hoping. Um, but 
I honestly have no idea why it's been suspended. Now, there have been a lots of people, you know, that have been gloating about my suspension, thinking that this is just going to, like, shut me up and, like, keep me down. Obviously, if they would know better, they would know that's not going to happen. But they have been saying that they were mass reporting accounts, including mine. Um, I know people were saying that they were reporting some of the Assange activists yesterday. Maybe I got caught up in that. I don't know. Honestly, there are a lot of... Um, you know, intelligence CIA types in Twitter. I was just talking about that the other day. The CIA is now welcoming people with social media platforms to apply to the CIA. That's how they're getting the younger generations involved. Um, so mm, my new account just got suspended, apparently. Uh, let's see. Apparently. Uh, no, I, I mean, I don't. All right, he's pulling it up. I Yeah, it's not loading for me. Maybe that's why. So, yeah, so this has only happened because I asked people, like, is is it possible if I make a new account, right, that I get suspended as well? And they were like, well, it's really rare that this happens. So they're basically trying to shut me off of Twitter. And these people... This a suspension is probably from a mass report of these people that have been trying to get me off Twitter. And I'm telling you, this is an intelligence uh, type of asset. Let me check my email and see, because I have a different email. Um, but the thing is, this is me. So, again, um, it's not going to... Okay, it says... Here, I can give it to you. Actually, Johnny, I'll send it to you. Okay, give me one second, guys. Okay, and I am going to appeal it as soon as I get a chance. Um, they're trying to keep me off of Twitter pretty much. So the only way I can be on Twitter is if I wait for them to give me an answer and then they give me an answer and I would have to create a new account. So they're trying to permanently ban me, the person from Twitter, right? That's, that's what I'm understanding is happening here. Um, there, let me see. I'm going to go on. Well, I'm logged out of the combo couch. Um, but guys, this is fascistic and a lot of people are saying this is a private company. Well, it's not because Twitter has become the, um, the public square, right? Twitter has become the public square and you have also, as well as Twitter, you have Facebook, you have uh, these giant social media platforms and these social media platforms are pretty much where a lot of things are discussed. And if somebody bans you from that, they're silencing your voice, right? And I mean, in that aspect, I think it, it becomes extremely fascistic because a lot of the, like, the reporting that I'm going to do and stuff isn't going to be seen now on that account. So make sure to be following the Convo Couch Twitter account that is specifically news uh, related. Now, they're saying I'm evading a suspension which i mean i guess i but they haven't given me an answer so how could i how why would i not be allowed to create a new twitter account that doesn't make any sense to me so um if you guys know of any way to get in touch with anybody on twitter literally like anybody that works for twitter anybody that you know has a connection to twitter i've heard that they're kind of responding to that but um Oh, this is from last time. Um, okay, so we're going to be talking about the uh, Ahmad Arbery case and stuff in the, in the sh next show, but I just wanted to tell you guys what happened. And I mean, I had, I was already at like 13 plus hundred followers uh, on Twitter. But the thing is, um, I don't know if they think like this is me. I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I mean, I can try to create another account. They're probably going to take it down. But I honestly, 
they haven't given me a response to my initial assessment, so I don't know what to do. And I don't, I'm not going to stay silent, so I'm probably going to continue fighting this. And the reason they even, they even noticed is because people are reporting my account. These people are reporting my account. And um, they, you know, they have this idea that if you disagree with somebody, then these people need to be canceled. And this all started with Alex Jones when we talked about the YouTube censorship of Alex Jones. That's why we were against it, because Alex Jones is essentially a, uh, I don't know, like Alex Jones is essentially a, a, the beginning of everything, right? Like you didn't have to like Alex Jones. I was never a fan. But the, after that, this is what happened. And then, of course, when they banned Trump from Twitter because they didn't agree with his politics and like a lot of us don't agree with his politics. But the fact that they banned Donald Trump from Twitter then allowed the president of the United States now allows them to do whatever it is with anybody they want. And um, so we've come to this point at the left, which is what I wanted to talk about, is that people on the left are, have lost their mind. They've absolutely lost their shit. They think that the right side of justice is canceling people or segregating people at this point, right, with what's happening in Australia, which is a fact um, that they're taking people and moving them into these camps where they have to be. And most of those people are indigenous to Australia, the Abor Aborigines. And I mean, does nobody have a problem with that? Why, why is nobody like freaking out about that? I think that's, that's absolute fascism right now. And what's happening is that the, the corporate sphere that owns Twitter is involved, of course, in big tech. It's involved in, in uh, intelligence apparatus. It's involved in all of these. It's got its tentacles extended to all these facets. So it doesn't act like a tiny private company like, let's say, we are, right? Like, we're a private company. We're not that powerful. If we were a corporation that has interests and in, in dealings with the government, that's the definition of fascism. That's not, you know, a free uh, private company. And it's weird because these commu com communists, they say that they're communists, and these socialists, they argue against corporations. But when the corporation silences somebody they, di they dislike, then they cheer for it, which to me is one of the most hypocritical aspects of everything that that i've seen and the left in america isn't the left i i don't know what to call it and at this point it doesn't matter because the left right paradigm at this point is is irrelevant i think right um we had steve's rant the other day uh up and it's really relevant to today because steve was was talking about how you know right now the left and right it's a like it, it doesn't exist because there's them and there's us and that's where we're at I, a lot of people don't, they're not, they're not there yet right now. They're like still thinking in terms of left and right. And look, are there differences between the left and the right? Obviously there are differences. Nobody's denying that. But the point is they're crushing any area of dissent, whether you're left socially on something or you're, you know, more conservative on, on something, whether you're religious or you're not religious, whether you believe in, in, you know, in Medicare for all or whether you think like we should have a public option. They, that doesn't matter What at, at this point because that fight is trampled on by this, by the persecution of journalists like Julian Assange, by the jurisdiction of the, you know, the attempt of the US to have jurisdiction of the international press. And so we can't fight for anything when shit goes down and they're trying to silence everybody. So that's what people mean by their say when they say like there's no left right at this point because we 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 can't even have that fucking debate because we're so crippled by everything that's happening right now and like you know people are trying to do the journalism that people are trying to do independent journalists that were in Nicaragua in that are going to be coming to Honduras that have been in Venezuela all that work it it has to go through certain channels because it doesn't happen on the mainstream. The mainstream media is there to sell a certain narrative. And they know that the voices of dissent and people who are opposed to dissent are getting more powerful. So they don't have the, the strength of debunking anything with a truth. They can't argue facts anymore. So what they have to do 
is discredit everybody, silence everybody, and pretty much ensure that, that those voices that need to be heard the most don't get hurt. And I think the worst thing you can do is say, I'm going to quit. I'm just going to quit. And I think a lot of people have done that and have gone to other platforms. But my issue with just doing that is the fact that you should go to other platforms. You should build other, you know, other followings and stuff. But by the same token, you should absolutely also um, fight back. Because if you don't fight back, then all that's going to be left in that platform is garbage. And that's what's happening in YouTube. That's what's happening on, on Facebook, which is pretty much intolerable at this point. If you go on there. Um, if you just leave, whatever's left is going to be nothing. Like, I think as you leave, you should be building up other platforms. You shouldn't just leave. Um, and so obviously I'm fighting this back. I think it's wrong. Um, I think a lot of people have alternates. So I don't understand why some people are targeted and some people are not. Twitter needs to have more specific rules. They need to literally uh, be specific as to why they're suspending somebody. And as obviously does YouTube, they generalize, they make these generalizations so they can pick and choose who they want. And I'm not going to I'm not going to play that game. I'm not going to stop. I'm going to continue fighting back. Whether that's creating another profile, whether that's uh, doing something else, um, I'm going to continue doing it. So uh, I, you know, I wanted to explain what happened. I wanted to explain why I have such an issue with these people because they literally, this is all they have. They, all they have is this discrediting, silencing, and just attempting to get people to stop. And I think the worst thing you can do is stop, right? I mean, I, I don't, I mean, I, that's what I think. I think the worst thing you can do is stop. We have Rockfin. Huh? Oh. Great. No, 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 I know. I'm trying to log into Rockfin, but I don't remember the combination. I wanted to see the super rate. Maybe I can look at it from my phone. <sighs> All right, so um, thank you to Roar Media. For the super rate contribution they said really missing our fee johnny and pasta here we love you guys please stay safe facts on the ground we have your back fam love you guys nice show yesterday Stonewall jackson thank you all right guys thank you for the super ray um, I mean, I don't, I mean, I don't know what else to say. I think it's just garbage and, um, I will be updating you guys via the combo couch, Twitter and any other, um, account that I create. Um, if I, I don't know if making another account, if I should wait, I'm probably going to wait at least a day until I make another account. But if I do make another account, um, I will update you guys. Most of our coverage is probably going to be on, on YouTube. Um, and on the Convo Couch Twitter. So we'll be updating you guys via that. But I would definitely, I definitely uh, plan on fighting back and figuring this out. Yeah, probably. You being on the internet is spring. Um, but yeah, 